Fix your credit, girl, get at it, get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Jordine here. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jordine. Make sure you hit the like button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button. That's most important, guys. Share this video. Welcome, you guys. Today makes nine weeks. It is my nine week uh, lock journey. Um, I officially started my locks um march the second it was a tuesday is when i decided okay you know what i'm going through this lock journey again i'm going to do that and i know you guys are calculating like wait a minute march 2nd that's not nine weeks hold on hold on hold on <laughs> so i started my lock journey officially um again on march the second i was in miami for um a couple days or a week or however long you want to call it and i decided to have my friend nikki do my hair so you go look at my other videos they were linked up here you'll see um where i was talking about my lock journey and how i want to start it so in that video i talked about how she started my locks for me and she did the regular um coil method we use like products and all that other stuff whatever for me it was just to i don't know it was just too much product and like i liked it when it was in this updo once i took it down it just felt thin it felt like brittle i just i wasn't liking it too much and i decided okay i don't really like the the coil method not with all this product so let me try and just do it the two strand twist method so i took each one out like i unraveled it one by one maybe like a week and a half later and i just two strand twisted all of them so these are all the same parts except for one in the middle here i felt like it was too big so i kind of split it so it's just like one little random lock in the middle so anyway i did the two strand twist method that video also will be linked up here Bam, bam, bam. Check it out. So I did that um, two strand twist method. I, I think, I don't know if I um, recorded a video of me doing that method, but I did record a video. I think the video that I posted that I just like linked up there is the one with me trying to dye my locks so you guys can see the thing. And it was all fun and dandy, but for me, it was too easy to take it out. I wanted to wash it all the time and I can wash my locks. It's not a big deal, but I wanted to wash it all the time. And I just was realizing, girl, your hair is never, 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 never going to lock for real, for real. Hold on, y'all. I feel like my camera look a little... <clears throat> Alright. But I felt like it wasn't going to lock for real, for real, if I didn't actually leave it alone, you know? Um, and I just... Every time I washed it, it just got more and more frizzy. It looks frizzy right now. And I just wanted to take it out. Like, I really just wanted to take it out so bad and just redo it every single time. And I'm like, girl, we can't do this. So... Then I remember a video I saw from a long, long time ago um, of some guy, I think he was a Jamaican dude, and he was doing some lady's hair in like the backyard or something, and he was talking about the instant lock method. So I went ahead and bought my little tool. I looked, up, I, I looked it up some more, looked at some more videos. I'm like, okay, this looks pretty simple, pretty easy. So I did it myself. That video is linked up here as well. And um, if I don't look them up top, I'll look them down below as well. But yeah, you guys should check that out. But I was just so excited. Um, I have on a shirt, you got, well, I had on a shirt, but I'm hot, and then this shirt is like, it cuts, it goes here on, on my sleeves and stuff, so it was kind of annoying me. So, yeah, so this is where we're at right now, my nine weeks, um, I kind of like interlocked some of them, like once, like right here, this, I guess, piece that you can see from here to here is interlocked, because I had some new growth, my hair grows like wildfire, but I interlocked it because, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, I'm about to do like a quick little retwist. It's not going to be like something crazy. But when I retwist my hair, I usually just do it with um, no product. Like no product at all. I don't add any product to my hair. But I decided that I'm not necessarily adding like locking products. I went out and got some beeswax and I got some, um, some jam. And I'm going to add it a little bit because I kind of want to... Um, when I did the... When I did the, the instant locking method I decided to um I decided to not get my hair like I didn't do it super tight so anybody else that I've seen in hair interlocks like they did it whereas though like start to finish it was like super tight I left it a little like loose I left some ends you know I did all of that whereas though because I wanted my ends to still be like a little curly and stuff um which I probably shouldn't have done but anyway I'm going to I'm going to put the product on here because I wanted to get a little stiffer and I don't want to wash it for like another like six weeks or so. I want to like leave. You know how when you first start your locks, when you have the coil method, you're not supposed to wash it for like six weeks because it needs time to lock. Because if you wash it, it's going to come out. Because I have instant locks, that's not necessarily the case. So I'm going to kind of cheat the system here and in 
instant lock. We're not instant lock, but yeah, like I said, I bought some jam. I'm gonna use jam and I'm gonna use some edge wax a little bit on my edges. Um, um, not just my edges, but I'm gonna use some edge wax on my hair and some jam or whatever, just to kind of get it to, that, that look that I didn't want, that stiff, like, oh my gosh, you look like you have a bunch of product in your hair look, that's what I want to do. So I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, you're doing too much for your hair, but hear me out, folks. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to do this on my hair for now, and um, that way I believe it. I'm not. Gonna I'm trying not to wash it for a couple of weeks or whatever, or at least until it gets like too bad. And then I'm going to do a, a, a good detox. But I want it to help my hair form a little differently, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it, but I know I know the look I'm going for. I can't really explain it to you guys, but I'm not going to watch you. I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me do all of this because this is just a lot. So what I'm going to do is. Once I'm done like the back half of my hair and I get up to the front, I'm going to come back to you guys and we'll talk a little bit more through this as we go. In the meantime, hey Google, play 90s R&B. Okay, here's a Pandora station called 90s R&B Radio. That's all, that's all. Oh, <laughs> I was like, it's taking that long to turn on. Hey Google, level 10. There y'all go. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is how much I've done so far. This is what it's looking like. Okay. 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 So I have quite a bit left to do. I'm trying to find some good light here. I have quite a few left to do here. So we're going to do some of the ones in the front for you guys but look y'all look at my little bun i can't wait till i can put it all up in a bun like this game over only hair i'm gonna wear the top bun top knot that's it i miss um doing my top knots with my straight hair so all i'm doing is like it's mostly water but it was oil in this bottle it's a little water and oil mixture i'm taking some of the beeswax and putting it here on my roots edges whatever you want to call them and then I'm going to take um, some of the jam and I just pull it down the lock. And I know you're probably like, girl, that's a lot of product in your hair. Let me do me, okay? Let me do me. Um, yep, and then I'm just going to twist and palm roll. Twist and palm roll. Get my little pin, my clip, and clip it on down. And then we're going to repeat with this one. These ones are pretty small, so I don't have to do too much um, as far as the palm rolling and the adding the beeswax. Why is this camera always dying? Like these little other batteries I bought from Amazon, these extra batteries, that boy, they don't last. They don't last, baby. They don't last. Um, so I'll take a bigger clip and I'll hold them together once I get it there. All right, guys. So... First of all, let me put my shirt back on properly. <laughs> but I'm done with my hair. I'm trying to think if I actually want to go out tonight. A friend of mine invited me to go to a lounge where Jagged Edge is supposed to be performing or I don't know if they're performing or they're just going to be there. But if they're just going to be there, I ain't trying to go. If they're performing, I'm trying to go sing my heart out. But at the same time, I don't really want to go outside. So I was going to just let my hair air dry for the rest of the night. But just in case I do decide to go, I'm going to go ahead and put on my little um blue drain cap thingy and y'all yeah, we gonna put this bad boy on ow hold on hold on ouch ouch ow. okay Ooh, okay we gonna go ahead and turn this on low Huh. So I'll be here a while. So um bye. Alright guys, so my hair is finally dry. Take a look, take a look. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tie it down 
and take my butt to sleep. Cause um, why not? I don't know why I'm in my closet, but yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I think it looks good. Oh, I got a little itch right here, but I'm trying not to get into it too much. But yeah, it looks moisturized and good. My length is still where, you know, it needs to be. Crazy thing is, it looked like I got it like twisted up, but I don't. But anyway, yeah, I'm about to go to bed, y'all. I don't know why I'm in my closet, but this lighting was just good right here. Um, but yeah, this is the final result of it. I didn't do no edges or nothing like that, but yeah, nine weeks, 42 to go. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying 42. Um, I am, oh, this feels so good. I got 43 to go. 43, 43 to go, 43 weeks to go before I hit my one year mark. But anyway, I'm excited. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. And join me on the rest of this journey. Eventually, I'm going to start doing like little styling videos of how I style my hair. But for the most part, it's usually just like this. Sometimes I wear my two little grandma braids. Um, wear my little space buns. But I'm probably going to rock it up in a high top bun in the front tomorrow when I go to this dinner. Don't know. We'll see. Or I might just leave it down. Who knows? Anyway, good night, guys.